Tim Cook's Advice for Young People Who Want to Be Rich I know a man who has read so many books about business and entrepreneurship. He honestly loves business and wants to end up building something significant, but he couldn't achieve that dream for several years. This gave me some concern, and I was thinking about why that could be the case with this guy. After thinking about everything I know about him for some time, the answer became very obvious. It's lack of focus. The guy gets distracted all the time, so he couldn't invest the time needed to build things from scratch. You see, Tim Cook said, focus is key, not just in running a company, but in your personal life as well. Focus is important because there are so many things that go into achieving success. And if you don't focus all your time, energy, and resources on one or a few things, you simply wouldn't be able to achieve anything. What I Learned from Albert Einstein a few months ago, I read the biography of Albert Einstein, and I recommend you to read it if you have some time. While this is a very huge book, one lesson kept on coming to me, again and again, all through the book, and that is, you have to be smart to achieve success. Einstein was by no means a smart person or a genius most people want us to believe he was. He was an ordinary guy who fell in love with science and wouldn't do anything else. Albert Einstein was an extremist. He avoided everything except his violin and physics. Even though you are just an average individual, waking up every day to pursue a long-term goal will make you unbeatable by any competition you might encounter. And this is simple logic. But most people don't follow it. Most humans jump from one pillar to another pillar, then to poles. I know people who want to start a business but won't take enough time to see their business die before they bury it. Let me explain what I mean by that. You see, businesses die for different reasons. Some businesses die because nobody wants your products. Others die because they are launched at the wrong time, earlier or later. Some businesses die because the economy isn't just fine with some businesses, while some businesses die because the offer is wrongly presented, and others die because the owner doesn't know enough about the market, his product, or his competitors. Now, when businesses die, what most people do is to bury it and look for something else. I don't think that is the right thing to do because such actions scatter your focus. Instead, I think the right thing to do is to try and figure out why the business died. If, for example, your business fails because you don't know enough about your customers or the products, then burying your business isn't going to help you. Instead, you want to remain more focused, learn more, and relaunch. Focus is key, not just in running a company, but in your personal life as well. In the year 2014, when I started a blog just a few months after I launched, I started seeing many other shiny opportunities all around. Some people were talking about how affiliate marketing is the cash cow, and others were talking about how network marketing is the king. Almost now and then, something new and shiny becomes popular. But I knew that if I truly wanted to have any success, I had to stay focused on a single thing for a long period. I stuck with blogging. Even though there was no success for many months, I kept on learning and applying what I learned. It was 24 hours per day work, and you can't do it if you are distracted by three other things. My blog became successful, and that led us into another business, and then another. Today, we can comfortably do more than one thing because we have a team of people working on different projects. Focus is key, not just in running a company, but in your personal life as well. Overcoming distractions in a distractive world. If anything, this generation is doomed by too much noise. This is amplified mainly because we are now hyper-connected, and we can easily make noise to distract even people who are distances away in other countries. Television used to be a big distractor, but it wasn't that bad compared to social media. After all, TV was at home, and you only get to see it when you return home and on weekends. Now, we have TV sets in our pockets and everywhere we go. We can easily distract ourselves from doing real things, because real things are difficult, and social media and the internet are sweet. So, how do you overcome this great distraction? First, don't see the internet as a totally bad thing, because it's not. You can use the internet for some great things, and that's what you should focus on. For example, 
I learn a lot by following some really smart individuals on YouTube, and I use the internet to build businesses. You can do the same. Instead of consuming entertainment content all day long, you can consume some educative content too. The second thing you can do is to avoid some social media altogether. Believe me, you don't have to be everywhere except being there helps your dreams in any way. I deleted my Facebook account in 2017 simply because it was distracting me from focusing on difficult things that matter to my dream. I never used Twitter or Instagram and I avoided any new social media platform. But don't forget that I use any of this as my team seems fit for business purposes and I can use them fully tomorrow if I see the need to do so. The point is, be more deliberate about where your time is going. Channel your energy on what matters. Stay focused on things that matter to where you're going in life instead of being busy with pieces of stuff that only benefit other people. Focus is key, not just in running a company, but in your personal life as well. Key to focus Then you might want to ask me how can I stay focused? One simple answer to that question is to have a long-term vision and set some short-term goals. I've started setting goals since when I was 14 and I still set goals till today. Setting goals make you clear about what is important to your life and knowing what is important to your life helps you to ask, is what I'm doing now important? Does this contribute in any way to my long-term goal? These questions will help you to trace your feet and get you back to what truly matters. What I want to achieve with this video is to challenge young people to avoid as many distractions as possible. Because if you can't stay focused on important things, if you get distracted all the time by little things, you simply can't achieve anything meaningful in life. Focus is key, not just in running a company, but in your personal life as well.